Hello, welcome to my vlog. My name is Kev, and this is Living Daily with Mental Illness. And um, I've been noticing um, it's been two weeks since my last upload to YouTube, and I wanted to kind of fill in my viewers as to what's been going on um, the last couple of weeks. I didn't upload a vlog last week, and um, and yeah, just a lot's been going on. So I want to take a little time in the beginning to uh, update um, you, my viewers, um, as to what's been happening. If this is your first time watching my vlog, um, awkward. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, my name's Kev. I'm a singer, singer, singer songwriter, an artist, a mental health advocate. And I vlog almost a little over, almost a year and a half now I've been vlogging. Um, just living daily with the various mental illness disorders that I have. Um, those being schizoaffective disorder, um, which for me is a combination of schizophrenia and bipolar one. Um, I also cope with inattentive ADD and CPTSD. I've been in recovery for a little over 15 years now since my diagnosis, and I'm 51 years old and a half. <laughs> um, so I, my first year of this vlog was really learning how to vlog and um, coming up with some sort of structure. Um, I had structure in my life and I was trying to convey it across through the vlog. And it took me a while, but I did it. In, um, I spent the first year kind of showing my morning routine step by step and how I got through my day while I was also living with um, the new um, new conditions that last year. I had a, a lot of chronic pain issues that I deal with now and I'm also in recovery from an eating disorder. And I kind of vlogged my way through that as well last year. Um, and I'm very proud of that vlog. And in year two, um, my life's still been going through a lot of changes and my goal has been to try to vlog my pathway towards success beyond stabilization. Um, I feel fairly stable um, and I've, I've developed a lot of um, personal strategies and coping skills and techniques that have kept me stable um, with my mood disorders and such. And so now I, I want to reach for more and I'm finding as someone who's mentally disabled, there is not a pathway really for me to gain a lot of success in life. Um, I'm four years out of a homeless shelter. I'm still technically in temporary housing, living on disability and I have a rep payee and it's very hard to, I don't drive, it's very hard to find pathways to success. And so I'm trying to do that in this vlog. And I have to say it's very difficult. Um, and very, it's been very taxing. Um, and um, it is the end of the week now and I'm kind of wrapping up and I'm not having the easiest time. Um, the last couple of weeks have been hard and um, I've noticed that my schedules and my days have changed and they're, they're, they've kind of been in flux where I still have my morning routine that I go through, but I don't work a regular job and, um, and I have to spend a lot of time motivating myself to get out there and and do things and, and do something. And uh, I have to be my own motivator. <laughs> and it can be very difficult to do. And I have friends and support systems that help me with it and we do work sessions. And it sounds simple, like if I could spend eight hours a day, like an office job, um, just working on my career, I would go a lot further. Um, but there's a reason I, I don't sit in, in an office eight hours a day. I'm not capable of that. And um, my neurodivergences would burn me out within months. And, um, and I'm not productive. And 
it takes a very unique schedule for me to be productive and happy. <laughs> and so working for myself has always been the best. Um, but that being said, I don't make any money. <laughs> um, I don't really, you know, I make money sometimes when I do a show. And, um, you know, and that's what I'm kind of looking at is how I'm going to make money. Um, and a lot of my work sessions have to do with that. So I spend a lot of my times now during my day just doing work sessions and I'll explain more about what that is. Um, but my days after my morning routine have been less structured, less, okay, Monday I'm doing this, Tuesday I'm doing that. A lot of my schedule depends on weather and my, where my mood's at, where my physical pain is at. Every day I have to decide what I need to do, what needs to get done what I want to do and what I'm capable of doing and those don't always match up. Um, um, so it's a lot for my brain to uh, comprehend. I want to say also I've been taking ADD meds um, which worked very good at first but they seem to be trailing off and not working as well so I'm going through a lot of my brain ping-ponging around. That's why this time when I've decided to do this video I have notes in front of me to kind of keep me on track a little bit because I'll start talking about this and that as well. Um, so last week um, I didn't vlog because I had COVID and I was very sick. Uh, I had fevers, I was getting chills and hots and I couldn't, I couldn't sleep through it as well. Um, I wasn't getting any sleep. Um, and so I just didn't vlog. I had people coming here and helping take care of me. I really couldn't do much. Um, so all last week I was just sick in bed and um, I didn't, I had no thoughts of <laughs> things that needed any of my projects or anything like that. I didn't even think of them once. All I thought about was how yucky I feel in the moment and how I was going to get through the moment. So uh, I am feeling much better. I'm COVID free and uh, feeling yeah, overall a lot better. Um, and for the last couple of weeks, sleep has really been an issue. Um, I've been averaging three to five hours a day um, and going some nights with no sleep and just taking naps here and there. And lack of sleep um, makes the little issues bigger and it makes all the little things that are not going so great, huge, dramatic things. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping to work with doctors on getting my sleep issues fixed. It's not as simple as taking a sleeping pill. Um, my body has the adverse effect to sleep meds and they actually keep me awake. Um, so we were going to do a, some sort of sleep study, and that is in the works, but sleep has been an issue since I've been a kid. And um, it's been, the last couple of years, it's been even more so. So um, it's a very frustrating thing to not be able to sleep all night and night after night after night. Um, so that's been something I've been dealing with the last couple of weeks as well. Um, Another thing is I've been trying not to smoke cigarettes and I haven't been completely successful. Um, I'm averaging one cigarette a day and, um, and my, I've smoked for 40 years and, um, and now to not smoke, it's very difficult. Um, I am using the patch and uh, with my doctor to help wean me off nicotine, uh, but I just always am thinking of smoking it's, it's always been something, um, four fifths of my life has been having cigarettes and so, but I have to say I do enjoy being non-smoking Kev. I have more energy when I'm not smoking. I have more motivation and a, more excitement about life. Just not being a, non, just by being a non-smoker and, uh, and I do have a cigarette now and then as, uh, as prevention from going back and just ripping off the patch and buying a pack of cigarettes and smoke. So, um, for the most part, I haven't been smoking. It's just maybe one a day. So it's been very difficult. Um, 
So um, I've also been struggling with my eating disorder has taken some steps backwards. Um, and just before I got sick, um, last two Wednesdays ago, I was out doing errands and I fainted due to dehydration and hypoglycemia. Um, and I was just waiting for the train and uh, I fainted and I was out for 10 minutes. And that really scared me. Um, I got up, got some water, got home, took an Uber home and ate some food and stuff. But I was going out to get something to eat and I didn't make it. And um, I have a food avoidance eating disorder where the thought of eating really, um, it causes a lot of anxiety for me. And um, it has to do mostly with poverty and having to spend money on food to be here when most of my life I didn't really want to be here and I didn't have the money to spend on food. Um, you need food to live but you have to buy food so you need to have money to live and I have never really had that so um, eating becomes hard for me and uh, spending money on food and things like that. Um, it just it makes me angry that I have to eat food. That's where that stems from. And I'm dealing with it. I used to, at the worst, I was having an Ensure a day and that I worked my way back. It took me two years, but I worked my way back to three meals a day. And uh, now I can see that it's been harder to eat lately and um, so I'm trying to get back and to get my hunger cues back and get on regular meals again. Um, another thing that has changed lately, a positive thing, is that uh, I've been dating. And uh, I've been dating someone and I feel like I want to keep that part um, to myself. And, but just know that uh, I have been dating <laughs> and it's been going very well. And um, it's, it has been inspiring and um, really wonderful to be out there getting to know someone in that sort of romantic way. So uh, that is a, one positive thing that's been happening for the last couple months now. Um, and I think overall, lately, I've been trying to do a lot with the little. Um, I don't know if you've heard the term, I don't, I only have so many spoons in my drawer for, for today, which means I only have so much energy and motivation and drive. And um, I feel like I'm trying to do a lot with very little spoons. Um, I'm struggling in a lot of different ways. And, and the final way that I'm kind of struggling is I'm really missing my dog. Having an animal um, is like a umbrella over all of this stuff that brings comfort amidst everything that's going on. Um, my dog Okaomi for the last 10 years has brought me a lot of healing and comfort. And I lost her late last year. Lately I've been spending a lot of time with friends and they have animals and cats and um, and I'm beginning to spend some time with them and it's been healing. And um, I often go out to the park and try to um, say hello to people who are walking their dog and pet their dog. But I am struggling um, with the loss of my dog. Um, so that being said, um, I wanted to talk about a little bit about, I often say I'm gonna work on projects 
and have work sessions and stuff. And I want to tell you a little bit about what I mean with that. This is going on 15 minutes, so um, stay tuned at the end of the video. And I'll talk a little bit about what I, what I mean um, when I say I'm going to do work sessions and projects. And uh, thanks for tuning in. And um, uh, thanks for your comments and your support. And uh, I hope you enjoy this week's vlog. Good morning. Happy Monday. I am out starting my week, starting my day with a walk. Uh, I'm gonna, something I'm trying that I used to do is back when I had my dog, first thing I would do when I got up in the morning was go outside before I had coffee or anything. And I would bring my dog out and um, it's, it started my morning good, getting up, rolling out of bed, and getting out the door. So that's what I'm trying this week. Here comes the train, so I'll be right back. So, um, the train is still there. Um, yeah, so I wanted to start my day with a walk. And um, then when I get back home, I'm going to do my coffee and comedy. So I'm just getting over being sick. Last week I had COVID. Uh, I've been tested negative and I'm not symptomatic anymore. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, so I'm glad that's over with. Um, yeah, my mood is, um, it's okay. I'm still working my way up from, from uh, waking up. So I don't wanna judge my mood yet. I haven't had my coffee and comedy yet. My pain level is about a four, which is pretty low. I'll check back in in a minute. Okay, the trains have gone. So yeah, my mood is, is okay. My pain level is kind of low to mid. Um, I have a pretty busy day today. Um, early this morning I have individual therapy where um, it's going to be one of our last therapies and then um, I'm going to be taking a break from individual therapy because my therapist who is the doctoral intern um, is getting her doctorate and um, moving on so uh, I'm going to take a little break from individual therapy and uh, reevaluate what my therapy goals will be and what I want to work on in therapy before I start with a new therapist. Um, and then after that, I have DBT, Dialectical Behavioral Therapy Group. And that is also my last session. We've been doing it for a little over six months now, an intensive course, and it's gonna finish up today. And then later on, I have another meeting, I believe with my social worker. Um, so I have some good meetings today and I have some projects that I want to get working on today too as well. So I'm feeling a lot better than I was last week and um, a lot healthier and uh, I'm pretty motivated so bright sunny shun sunshine today. <laughs> I can barely see. Alright, I'll check in later. Happy Monday. Hello, so it's um, morning and I am having my coffee and I'm listening to Critical Role um, play on my computer on the other side of the room. 
and I'm just staring out my window here. Uh, I've been enjoying in the morning sitting here, having my coffee, and just looking out the window and relaxing. And uh, sometimes I have music playing, sometimes I have my critical role playing, or, or just quiet. And uh, the last couple mornings, this past week while I've been sick, um, it's been nice to get up and just kind of sit here, a nice quiet morning, relax, um, and starting the day peaceful. Um, I have a little comedy going, so it's still coffee and comedy. Um, and sometimes I have my, my, my book of many things that I keep all my stuff in, and I have that here, and I'll do some work in it. Um, but that's what I've been doing. In the morning lately, um, I used to get my coffee, sit at my computer and watch comedy. And that was my coffee and comedy. But yeah, lately I kind of set up this little table here where I can sit out the window. I feel like I'm sitting at a little coffee shop and, uh, and it's really nice. I enjoy it, it's a peaceful morning. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So, so a little update for the day. Um, most of the day has gone by actually, but um, I did my, I had a morning meeting with my um, psychiatrist and we wanted to check in about my ADD meds that I've been on for about two weeks now and it seems to be going really well. So we're going to keep everything the way it is and um, I've been enjoying them and it, they seem to be working well. So. Um, after that, um, I had dialectical behavioral therapy, um, and that's our last group where we were, we've been meeting for a little over six months, and, um, so it was our last group, and it was good, and we kind of just did a big wrap-up and say goodbye to everybody and talked about what we got out of it, and, um, and then right after that, I went into individual therapy. And it's also my last appointment with my individual therapist. Um, and so I had a good meeting with her um, and um, we talked about everything that I've worked on and accomplished while we've been working together and talked about this upcoming break that I'm taking from therapy um, with both of these the DBT and individual therapists ending right now. It gives me a little break so I can kind of rest up a little bit emotionally before I dive back into um, deep therapy again. So, um, and then I was really tired because I didn't really get sleep. So I laid down, but I didn't fall asleep. So I tried to take a nap twice and I couldn't fall asleep. Um, so I got up, made myself some General Gao's chicken and then just went out for a walk to get some dish soap and I'm gonna do some dishes. So that's been my day so far. Um, and this evening is probably gonna be doing some work sessions. Um, I have, I did do work sessions this morning and in between my groups where I've been working on making notes on songs uh, for the upcoming album. Um, and that's been fun to do, so. Uh, my mood is pretty good. I'm just very tired and my pain levels are going up. They're, they were about a five or six, now they're about a seven. So um, yeah, all right. I'll check in later if something happens. <laughs> good morning, happy Tuesday. Um, I'm happy to report for the first time in about four or five days it seems like anyways, maybe three or four days, but I slept well last night. Um, I went to bed, decent time, I slept through the night, and that hasn't been the case for the last three or four days. I've only been going on like two or three hours of sleep each night, or no sleep. So it feels good to have gotten sleep, um, but I'm waking up today really with an empty tank. Um, I hadn't been eating much and I uh, just been drinking lots of fluids and stuff so I woke up and uh, 
I'm very hungry. My body is very tired and slow to wake up. But I don't feel sick, which is nice. Um, so I wanted to start my day every day this week if I can with a little walk outside. So that's what I'm doing. It's kind of rainy and drizzly today, uh, but it feels good. It's waking me up. And uh, today I'm gonna go home and uh, I have a friend coming over who's going to be doing some work sessions. We're gonna be rehearsing for the album and stuff like that. It's a bit of a loud morning here in Beverly. But uh, yeah. So I'll check in later. Um, I forgot to check in on my mood and stuff. And uh, I was afraid there was a lot of traffic going on around me before and I thought I was gonna get hit by a car or something. So um, my mood is pretty good. I'm in a good mood, but I'm, I'm kind of high anxiety. I'm not really sure why. Um, I think because I'm I'm trying to quit smoking again, and I'm several days of no sm smoking cigarettes on the patch, and that kind of has my anxiety level pretty high. I get very stressed out and panicky when I realize that I'm not smoking cigarettes, but I also feel very good not smoking cigarettes. Um, my energy level is higher, my motivations are higher, and I like non-smoking Kev. Um, it's just a very hard thing to do, quit smoking. Um, but I keep trying, and uh, I'm several days in, so I'm looking forward to a good day today. Uh, maybe a creative day, work on my projects. And my pain levels are not too bad today, surprisingly, um, considering that I spent all last night laying down in bed that often causes me to have high pain the next day but I'm feeling pretty good today so I'm hoping it's gonna be a good day have a friend come over make some music and uh, work on projects be creative and uh, I'm just I'm gonna try to enjoy the moment while the moments happening today and just be in the present moment and be mindful of how I'm doing and how I want to be mindful of the good things, you know, things, reasons that I'm happy to be alive. I think I want to focus on that today. Hello, so I'm back home and I'm sitting here staring out my window and um, enjoying my coffee. Um, I'm getting a little anxious today. Um, there's no real reason for me to be anxious about today. Um, but sometimes I kind of sit here and my mind will go kind of negative. Um, and I'll have to pull myself back. But uh, I was getting anxious about that, that ominous feeling like you're letting people down. And there's no reason for it. Um, because I'm not. <laughs> it's just that feeling that comes up. And uh, and what I do to combat against that um, feeling that um, like I'm not doing enough and people are disappointed with me and things. Um, the way I combat that is um, by the evidence. I look at my evidence of the things that I've been doing um, my vlog is very helpful for that. Um, I can review my vlog and say, okay, I have done things and I am putting in effort. Um, for me, it's, if I'm putting in an effort, um, I'm, I'm more worried about, I'm more, I concern myself more with the effort that I put in more than the production. Um, if I'm putting in the effort, um, things will come and, and they might not come fast <laughs> and um, but things will happen so um, I've been enjoying my mornings here 
not really doing my normal coffee and comedy where I sit and watch Critical Role, but rather kind of in silence, relaxing, having my coffee and just thinking about the day and um, thinking about people in my life and looking in my book of many things for like ideas and creative sparks and um, it's been nice and then um, I kind of turn on some comedy after a while or some music. Um, I'm in no hurry to run through my routine, um, enjoying my coffee and my book, my workbook and Oh, when I feel like up to moving again, I'll get up and I'll go take my meds <laughs> and turn on the shower and warm that up. But as for right now, I'm really in no hurry. I'm enjoying my morning. It's a rainy, foggy, drizzly morning. And um, it's very enjoyable. So it's very relaxing and it's good for my anxiety to just kind of sit here um, in the quiet I hear the train roll by every 20 minutes and um, I have my guitar right next to me if I want to pick up and play. So it's kind of nice. So I'm just trying to enjoy this nice morning where I've gotten the rest that I need and um, slowly work through my routine. Hey, so I made it through my routine and um, I've checked in with friends and I just went and visited with my neighbor Jeff and he's doing well. Um, the, the hard part of the day for me has been getting myself to eat. Um, and um, I'm physically hungry, I'm really hungry, kind of weak, and, but um, each time I've gone to go eat something, I haven't been able to really um, eat it. And it makes me nauseous. So, uh, that's been my struggle today. It's about lunchtime, and, um, so I'm gonna keep trying, and, um, I'm gonna look around and, um, and do some cleaning around here. I have zero energy, but, and I'm high anxiety, um, and it all really has to do with having to eat. Um, at least that's what it feels like. So, uh, I'm just going to work on some, getting something down, um, and kind of, um, move around a bit. And, um, but I think I'm going to start with some yogurt. Hello. So, uh, my day has been going good. It's been a hard day though. Um, I've been having to force myself to take every little step. Um, I did get some food in me. Um, I had some Texas toast with mozzarella and, um, and chili. Well, I'm, I haven't had the chili yet. I pulled it out. I'm going to have it in a little while. I'm going for a little walk. My energy level is getting up. It was really low all day, but um, so yeah, the rest of my evening is um, gonna do a work session. And I have a friend coming over. We're gonna do a work session, do some music stuff. And, um, and then what's today, Tuesday? So that'll probably be it, is just do a work session and then, uh, you know, settle in for the night watch my critical role and head to bed. Um, but yeah, today was hard because I just kind of felt like I had washed upon the shore and I needed to recover. <laughs> and uh, I felt really malnutritioned and dehydrated. So there was one part during the day where I, um, I had had my yogurt and I was like, okay, I need to drink some water. And I got up and my ADD has been kind of making my thoughts pop around a lot today. Um, so I got up and went to do some cleaning. 
and just to because cleaning often increases my mood and I started getting really dizzy and um, so I just sat down and drank a bunch of water for a good half hour and then I lay down for a, an hour so that made me feel a lot better and I think I need to incorporate more water every day <laughs> here comes a train so um, that's gonna be my evening and unless anything else happens Good morning, happy Wednesday. I am out for my morning walk. And um, it's pretty nice out. It looked like it rained all last night. I think it's supposed to rain tonight. But it has made it nice and cool. And uh, the air is cool. It feels good because it was, it's been hot and muggy. I'm about to get hit by a car. Um, so I'm out for my walk and I slept Okay, it took me a long time. My brain was really going all night last night, trying to get to sleep. And um, I remember the sky was starting to turn blue. The sun was coming up as I finally felt like I could go to sleep, so. And then I'm waking up, it's about nine in the morning. And just going out for my walk, it feels, it's nice and quiet, you know? Lately it's been loud here. Um, but it feels like a nice quiet morning and there's cute dogs. See the dog? <laughs> and so it's nice. I like walking this area because there's always dogs. And uh, and I, I, I like to look out my window down at the park when I see a dog walking by. Um, my pain level is pretty good. Uh, I don't, it's, I'd say it's about, yeah, I really, it's negligible. I don't really have any pains in me at this moment, but you know, I'm taking it slow. So my plan today is, um, I'm gonna do some work sessions. I wanna um, go out to some stores and do some errands. And then it's the second part of my week. So I think I'm gonna go into Boston and do some socializing, uh, visit with some friends. And um, that's what I've been trying to do the second half of my week is just uh, be social, visit with friends, and go into the city. And then I stay overnight at different friends' houses and um, stuff like that. Um, I stashed a sleeping bag at one of my friends' house and, uh, and then I sleep on a couch at my other friend's house. So it's pretty fun. Um, so I'm gonna go back home, have some breakfast, do my routine, and uh, I'm feeling like it's gonna be a good day. My mood is pretty good, optimistic, and I got to see some dogs, so that was fun. Um, all right, I'll talk to you later. So this morning I made it through my routine, okay? Um, did my coffee and comedy and um, came back, took my meds, took a shower, and I was feeling kind of tired because I didn't get a lot of sleep. So I laid down and took a nap and I think I actually slept for a couple hours. So it's pretty good. I'm happy about it. I feel a little more rested. Um, and then uh, I got up again and I've just been kind of packing up, getting ready to head into Boston. Um, and I'm heading out now to catch the train to my friend's house. And... Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. My mood is good. I'm a little anxious because uh, it's been about a week since I really been out of the house um, because of being sick. So um, yeah, I'm just a little anxious about leaving the house. Um, but other than that, I'm doing good. My pain level is about a four or five and uh, my energy level is kind of low, but I'm hoping once I get out and get moving and stuff, um, uh, it, it will go up and um, I had some yogurt yogurt and uh, I think I'm gonna get something to eat when I get into Boston so all right check in later hey happy Thursday it's Thursday morning and I'm out for a walk I got some coffees 
and uh, feeling pretty good. I slept okay last night and uh, waking up this morning in a pretty good mood. It's a little hot out and the shirt that I'm wearing is a little high. You can see I got buttoned down because whew, it's hot. Um, my pain levels are feeling pretty good. They were, they were a little high and then I went out for a walk and the pain levels are going down. My mood is good. It's a pretty nice day in Boston. And uh, I think we're gonna be doing some work sessions, me and my friends. We're gonna connect with some friends. We'll do some work, work on all of our different projects. And then, I don't know, maybe go for a walk in the woods um, or something like that. Should be a fun day. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully I can send you some pictures of what happened today. I don't know. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, so I spent last night with my friends at the um, screen shed at my friend's backyard um, that we used to be done in the weeks past. So we spent most of the night there hanging out and it was fun. Um, I'm getting up this morning catching a train back home. I'm here at the Boston Garden uh, North Station train. So I have about an hour till my train and I'm gonna get uh, maybe a coffee or uh, I think I'm gonna get McDonald's and uh, just kind of relax and wait for my train. Maybe a slice of pizza sounds good too. I don't know, I'm gonna get something to eat, take the train home. Um, where I was this morning at my friend's house, I was able to get up and do a little coffee and comedy. I took my meds and um, so it kind of worked through my routine now to be out. The only thing I didn't do was take a shower, which I'm waiting until I get home to do. So, um, happy Friday. My mood's pretty good and my pain level is uh, low to medium, like a four. Good morning, happy Saturday. I'm just out for my walk. Very first thing, I just woke up. It's about eight in the morning and uh, been walking a little bit. I'm a little frustrated this morning um, due to lack of sleep. I got about four hours last night, but it seems like the last couple weeks I've been going um, averaging three to five hours of sleep and uh, it's a little frustrating um, I talked to my doctor about it and I'm thinking about doing a sleep study in the future but I don't know when uh, but I've always had sleep issues they just seem to be worse the last couple of years um, so today is Saturday and uh, I'm going to go through my vlog and what I do is uh, I often do it on Sunday but today feels like a good day where I upload all my video and um, and then I go through and review it all and just see how I did this past week. Um, my, I feel like my days have been very different than they used to be and my weeks have been very different. Um, so it'll be good for me to review. Um, my mood is kind of down. Uh, I'm a little sad and depressed and that might be due to lack of sleep. And um, my pain level is about a four. I'm just in some discomfort, so. I don't know. I want today to be a happy, productive day, so I'm gonna do what I can to make it so. And, anyways, I'm just enjoying this quiet morning na nap. <laughs> I wish it was a nap. Quiet morning walk. And uh, I'll ch maybe I'll check in later. Hello, so we made it to the end of the week, and I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, as I promised in the beginning of the video, um, I was going to tell you a little bit about 
what I mean when I say I'm going to do work sessions and work on my projects and stuff like that. Um, because I don't have a regular job. I, I'm a singer-songwriter, an artist, a mental health advocate, and I do a lot of volunteer work and stuff. But I feel like um, my recovery is my job. And, and then um, I can, part of my recovery is to um, find fulfillment and beyond stabilization. And so that being part of my job, I have lots of projects to further my career as a singer, songwriter, an artist, and a mental health advocate. So I have this book here, um, which I have had, I've been working in this book for I think two years. And I call it my book of many things. And it's where, um, I keep everything that I'm working on, my life, and everything in here. I also do a lot of drawing, and um, it's just, yeah, lots of drawings, and, and um, all my notes of albums, my songwriting, um, everything is in here. So, when I'm working on my projects, I'm working my book of many things. And I thought I'd tell you a little bit I kind of, what I do is I've had this for years and as projects get done, they get checked off and as they're not done, I keep moving them forward. And I, I do brain dumps where I have all my ideas and I throw them in here, whether they're grandiose or tiny, and I just keep them on lists and I keep moving them along and things fall off the list as they no longer interest me or are no longer relevant or they're completed. And it's just an ongoing list. And so my current list, I thought I would share with you right here, um, is, uh, so m most of my work sessions is right out of this book. And uh, yeah, so what I have going on, and I have this dated the week of August 5th. But uh, one, I have a, a Kev and Glimmer, Kev G. Moore and Glimmer show happening on the 18th at the Armory in Somerville. Um, for the organization Tune Foolery. So um, I need to put together that set list and rehearse those songs, connect with Glimmer, see what songs she's gonna do, maybe we can do songs together and get ready for that show. Um, number two, uh, I'm working on um, doing shows, offering up shows to senior, senior citizen homes and nursing homes where I do cover songs from the 50s to the 70s or so. And so I have to create an electronic press kit called an EPK and create formatted emails and connect with the different nursing homes in my area because I don't drive, so it has to be to places I can get to. Um, and there's some other smaller tasks. Um, number three, um, I had this past week, I had to cancel the Kev G. Moore Glimmer show at Walnut Street Cafe in Lynn. Um, that was going to be a two hour full show, but because I had COVID, we had to cancel that show. Um, so I need to connect with Walnut Street and connect with Glimmer and see when that would, when would be a good time to reschedule that show because we were going to have a sold out um, venue that night. So um, I would like to get move on that momentum. Um, Number four is gigs. Me as a singer-songwriter, there's places I need to reach out to. I need to create a new EP updated press kit and um, create a mar marketing uh, email to send out to places. Uh, this list of, I have a list here of clubs that I've, I used to be able to get gigs with, but now a lot of ownerships have changed since COVID, so I have to reconnect with all these venues. And, uh, try to get some gigs. And a lot of those gigs that you get at venues in uh, at like the Middle East and Cantab and things like that, they don't really pay anything. <laughs> it's just pr for promotion. Um, number five is D&D. &D. Um, there is a way where I can get paid to run D&D &D games. And so I've been working on creating an adventure that I can run at the game store and people pay uh, pay to uh, jump in this 
four hour D and D game, and uh, it's been a thing that I used to do it before COVID, and it went pretty well. I was thinking of doing it again. I also have some friends who want to play in a D and D game, so I'm creating an adventure for them. Um, I was also invited in October to a Comic Con where they're going to be paying me as a professional dungeon master to teach people how to play Dungeons and Dragons at this Comic Con. Um, so um, I'm working on creating those adventures, creating how I can teach people quickly how to play D&D. &D. Um, and, and this is a very uh, neurodivergent Comic Con, so I'm gonna have lots of different unique personalities and I wanna come up with a very welcoming uh, way to introduce people to D&D. Number six, I have an album that I'm working on called Live at Toon Foolery. And um, that's taking a lot of work. This I can't. I, I don't even want to go over the steps that it takes. But it's months and months and months away of just me working on getting things done, prepped up, so that uh, the bass player, the piano player, the per percussionists all can learn this music. I have to describe and, and write out what I want the songs to sound like. I have to make music charts. We gotta rehearse, we gotta find dates and have meetings and connect with tune foolery. There's a lot that goes into before we even start rehearsing for the album. So uh, that's a big project that takes a lot of work. <laughs> and, uh, and then um, number seven is YouTube. I have a big list of, uh, of YouTube video ideas that I want to create educational videos for. Um, I just haven't been able to do it. I've been writing up scripts and, and gathering and researching information on um, different things like mindfulness and anhedonia and what it's like to have a ret payee, what is a peer specialist and anti-suicide videos and all sorts of things um, that uh, I've been working on in my work sessions. <laughs> and I hope to start bringing out onto YouTube very soon. Um, I'm also looking at creating some sort of merch, um, some coffee cups and t-shirts. So uh, I have some cool ideas, oops, I bonked the camera, but I have some cool ideas for that and I hope you all like it. Um, number eight, um, Students with Psychosis is having its national conference, um, 2024 conference, and I'm looking to go to that and, and um, and be a part of that and uh, bring the vlog along with me but I think I'm gonna have to do some fundraising to make it happen and so I'm trying to think of ways where I can do that <laughs> um, I'm throwing work sessions at brainstorming ways where I can raise money just to take a trip two states over for a couple days uh, to go talk at Yale and perform my music and be part of that conference so. Um, number nine is apartment. I'm, lo I'm looking at new apartments, getting out of this, been in this temporary housing for several years and I want to get a new apartment that's a little bigger and um, has a little more amenities and um, is maybe uh, a little closer to the subway. And uh, since I don't drive, it would be nice to be a little more in the city and closer to the subway. Um, and then um, number 10 is my Sunday live um, and then it goes on you know um, but that's the top 10 really uh, there's probably about 15 other small projects that I'm not even gonna start working on yet so that's what what I what I say I'm gonna be doing a work session or me and my friends are gonna get together and zoom and do work sessions I'm usually working on that I'm doing scripts I'm creating electronic press kits. I'm trying to get gigs and connect with people about the albums, thinking of ways of raising money and uh, trying to access equipment and um, just things like that, trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it all. <laughs> um, so I hope that kind of clues you in a little bit as to what's going on here. Um, I'm gonna try to keep vlogging away and uh, I feel like a little bit like uh, I did in the beginning of the vlog where I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs>
and it feels a little bit like that now where I'm like starting again and having to figure out a new way to do things so um, I really appreciate you all following along leaving all your comments and support it means a lot to me um, and I'm just gonna keep trying that's all see you in the next video